So there we go, Mullet's literally just clicked it in. Bosh! That's pretty quick. Huh? That is pretty good. <laughs> Good, beautiful morning guys, how are you doing today? Hopefully in fresh and well and beautiful on another fine and fantastic day again today. Welcome to Saturday, welcome to a kind of crazy Saturday. So crazy. We kind of got a mission. Give us the verdict, give us the rundown. What is Crazy Saturday going to evolve today? I'm going to try and track down the, what's the word? Mysterious? Yes, the hard to find Nintendo Switch. I think there's one within a hundred mile radius of us. <laughs> So strangely, out of all the places where you could buy a switch from, it's in it's in a Toys R Us. We, we hope. Don't expect it. Are you Let's sure that you've got the right one? Like they're not just like a little kid's it's version of the switch. Babies R Us. Over there. I have no idea. It's kind of weird because they are literally sold out virtually everywhere. Even like Amazon and stuff don't have them. Online shops don't have them. Game shops don't have them. Well, so I think you're kind of lucky to find like the last remaining one. So, Mullet did ring up earlier today to actually get one put back. But hopefully, this is the place, Mullet. Oh my goodness gracious me, I'm in heaven right now. Look at all the cool stuff! Oh my god! Come god! So there's not a load of games out at the moment, but Mullet has just picked himself up <laughs> the brand new Zelda. And... They got them. You didn't even have to ring Ash up to put one back. Man, Ash, you thought of so we've actually drove down to Exeter Toys R Us and we've just noticed that they have their very own Monopoly. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> You're excited now, Mullet? Oh, wow, I've got to get over the pain of spending that much money first. <laughs> <laughs> one thing we just noticed was the when Mullet rung up, they only had one available, yeah, hence we rung up and put it back. There's literally like more than ten, I would say, we could see through into like into their warehouse. It was like full of switches. So if you're trying to get one, exit the Toys R Us has been stocking them. Dude, something amazing has just happened. And no, it's not that we just come into near and got amazing coffees. I just got handed my change. I just got five shiny brand new one pound coins. Look how shiny they are. This is the first time we've ever seen a brand new one pound coin. They were released about a week ago. Was it Tuesday? So yeah, literally like days ago. They're so different than a normal one pound. That's kind of crazy. Do you just find a flaw in it already? I don't, it's not a flaw, but I showed when, how long ago it was printing. So this is 2016 and they've only just come out. Released in 2017, but the date's 2016. And one thing which you need to remember is that old one pound coins, they go out of circulation in like six months time. So if you have any old pound coins, you need to basically get these new ones. But this is the first time we've seen them, so we're like, wow. A, a switch mullet and a pound coin all in one day. What more do you want? Oh yeah, and coffee for Holly. <laughs> So as you guys know, we cannot go to a city without Holly researching and Googling is there a Wagamama's... Hey, was it? Was this my idea? This was you. Okay, well I'm pretty hungry and you guys know exactly what we do when we go to a city. We find the nearest Wagamama's, which is in here. Look how pretty it is. Holy moly! I mean, look at this. Very old school building, but it's not very nice weather for that. <laughs> what have you gone for, Holly? With several variations. <laughs> Looks flipping good and scrummy. Mullet has gone for the chicken teriyaki donburi. Exactly what I go for every single time. So I know you guys are probably waiting for us to actually unbox this switch. We have been holding out a little bit because we don't want to do it in the back of the car because it's just, you know, there's a time and a place to unbox it. Mullet is just going to keep it all nice and comfy on his lap. One little drive home, then we can actually open it. And the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, that was a squeaky floor, that wasn't a fart. I'm 
actually quite impressed by how like colourful this is. Yeah. Like it, I just thought it was kind of photoshopped in a way, but oh, now it's the, they are like super the neon. Like, you can almost feel it's got like dick, 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 dick going around it. If you know what I mean. The buttons feel really, really nice actually. So this is where you can see everything which actually comes in the box when you buy the new Nintendo Switch. You obviously get your HDMI cables, you get your power cable, the Switch itself. Your dock, which you actually click this straight into there. You obviously got your two Joy-Con controllers either side, and then this is like just a normal controller which these click into. And Mullet's also got a Nintendo oh. 3DS. Mullet, so we thought it'd actually be a really good comparison to actually compare the 3DS screen and how it plays and feels in your hand and compare it to the new Switch. <laughs> Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> so basically, when you're playing a game, it runs at 720, and then when you dock it into here and it goes to your TV, it goes up to like full HD. But some games do differ and stuff, but that's kind of like, it's basically it's HD when it goes to full screen, and about 720 when it's on this smaller screen. And here's just a quick size comparison test. As you can see, this is the iPhone 6 Plus, and obviously this is the Switch here. So it's probably about, an inch bigger. Um, we put the iPhone pretty much on top. As you see, it's slightly bigger all the way around than an iPhone 6 Plus. You see, now Mullet has just turned on the switch for the very, very first time. I would love to show you by filming the screen and stuff, but apparently Nintendo is very, very hot on taking down videos and not allowing anyone to kind of show the screen for copyright reasons, so this is the kind of bit where I can say how good the screen looks, but you guys aren't actually allowed to see it. But apparently as well, you can actually stream the Switch on Twitch. Now that's gonna get confusing. Twitch on, no, Switch on Twitch. And obviously, as you guys know, we do have a Twitch channel. Me and Holly do all our streaming on there. So if you guys are interested and you wanna see it, maybe Mullet can come over one day and we can actually live stream playing the Switch with the brand new game Zelda. If you do want to see that, make sure you comment down below now that you want to see us live stream the Switch on Twitch. Just put Switch on Twitch. Just comment that down below. Are you going to go for it? Do you want to lick it first? <laughs> Is it really that bad? Well, I don't know, apparently. So if you don't know, they have made these taste disgusting to basically stop it's kids. The, that, like the label bit there that's got the... To stop like, kids like on it. eating them and swallowing them. Do you mind if I lick it? Go ahead. <laughs> Be my guest. Nothing? Oh, it's the plastic. Oh, oh it's not oh, the label. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit of a little bit of slobber on there. Alright. Do you wanna have a lick? Is it really bad? Not overly bad, it's just like. Ooh. <laughs> You won't be chewing them. Yeah. So a few facts about the Switch. It actually can last between two and a half to about six hours per charge. Now that's obviously a big range, a big battery range. So I have heard that playing something like Zelda, it only lasts for about three hours, but you can actually plug it into a USB battery pack and keep it charged throughout the whole day. So it has 32 gigabytes built in storage, but you can actually expand it with a micro SD. You can actually connect eight switches together. So you and your buddies can actually all link together and play like an eight player game all in like the same house. So the Joy-Cons actually work in a few different ways. They work like a normal controller connected together. You can use them separately or or you can use like just one side of them for like two player games so you don't have to buy additional controllers for some for some type of games and also they're like motion control movement sensors as well and that basically means that they have like a haptic feedback so when you move the controllers in certain ways they vibrate at certain points which is actually a really really cool feature give us the rundown what, what's your first initial opinion i'm confused with just everything okay because it's like not what you're used to I've never played it before Never played it, Getting but does it, buttons does it feel kind of strange, like holding the controllers? Like no, you not really. Know. Do the honours, Mallet. Alright, let's scratch the screen. Oh, oh. Oh, oh it's in. Oh, wow. Oh, beauty. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Alright, I'm keeping it in there. So now we've plugged it into the dock, it actually upscales the game oh, to full 1080, which is actually pretty awesome. 
I kind of want to show you more of the screen, but I really don't want this video to get flagged by no, Nintendo no. or anything. Oh, but it does look flipping awesome. <laughs> So now we're going to see what it's like when you take it out. Click on your little controllers, click, click, and then in theory, you pull it straight out and it should carry on exactly cool. where you left off. So if we look at a 3DS uh, screen quality, you can see that's like night and day difference. This is very, very, you can see literally every pixel on this. So yeah, screen size difference and stuff is, it's not actually that much so yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger and stuff. But I think obviously the main thing is the screen quality is like so much better on there than something like this. But one thing I would probably mention is something like a 3DS is you can actually click it close and put it in a bag and it's not going to get damaged, like the screen's not going to get damaged. The screen on that is quite vulnerable to actually getting scratched, so I would probably recommend getting a screen protector for it, maybe. I'm guessing they've got them, you can just put over. Yeah, I've seen it on Amazon. But I guess one cool thing with the 3DS is it's obviously 3D, so the pro for that is you can actually play games and it actually physically look 3D. That's one thing which this doesn't do. So a quick review of the new Nintendo Switch. We've only had it for a few hours and only had a few little plays and stuff. I would say it is actually a very, very cool piece of kit. It feels nice and durable. It feels nice. The buttons feel good. Um, I would say you can't really compare it to a PS4 or an Xbox One because it's very different type of um gaming it's for a kind of a different market and stuff it will be better probably in a few months time when there's a lot more games out because there's literally just a handful of games um, but like mullet said earlier he really wants to get the new mario kart which looks flipping awesome holly what would you say can we go back and get one for me mullet do you have a quick review of of it so far yeah, yeah, the console itself is pretty awesome. Um, Zelda's hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's I'm not good at it yet. Because it's like a new device, the buttons and stuff are in a different layout. It takes so around. it takes a while to kind of get used to when it says to press Perfect. certain buttons. It says like press LZ and stuff, and that's kind of confusing for us. I think I would personally like the screen to be a little bit bigger. If the screen went all the way to like this edge, it wasn't such like a black edge around it i think that would have made it probably like an inch or so big and i think that would have made it feel more like the size of a ipad mini yeah so there we go Mullet's literally just clicked it in Bosh. That's pretty quick, like. that is pretty good nintendo don't um, copyright me please <laughs> well, it's time for us to leave. We're going to leave Muller to actually play with his console about me going, Look at this, what's this? Like shoving a camera in his face. Muller, have fun. Thank you, please. Come again. So, we just got back to Holly's now, and I've just sat down to do some editing. And I thought I would mention as well that I've actually done a collaboration video with the tech chap. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know that I did a collaboration with him, and I'm actually currently editing that video right now. So, if you want to go and watch that video, click the link in the description down below and go over and check that one out because it's kind of a cool um, conversational video with me and the tech chap who is an awesome tech review YouTuber or just go over and check out his channel because honestly he is incredible at reviewing products. And whilst I'm on about links and stuff down below, I've also added the Amazon link to the Nintendo Switch. If you want to go see um, some more information and stuff about the Nintendo Switch or even purchase one yourself, you can click the links in the description down below. I think that's where we're going to have to end today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please smash the big fat thumbs up button on this video. And I have to say, I'm super jealous of Mullet getting the Nintendo Switch. Are you guys interested in getting a Switch? Do you reckon that we should get a Switch? If you do, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Switch as I would love to read all of those. But anyway, enough of all that. Thank you so much for watching me, Holly and Mullet today. With all that being said, I'm just going to leave you guys with those three very important things, which are as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. And I'll see all of you bright and early tomorrow morning. Goodbye. There he is. I'm also filming this. You're filming this as well? It's kind of weird, this is like filming Inception right now. So I should probably say that we've actually just finished filming a little collab video which is going up onto your channel. It is. 